Hello scientists, this is Miss Cordova, second grade teacher at Viewlands Elementary. Remember, we will start by honoring that we are on the lands and waters of the Coast Salish people. Also remember, if you are going on a walk in your neighborhood or around your yards today and spaces that you share with other people, that you're giving them six feet of space when you walk by. So today what we're gonna do is talk about a new word called phenomena. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean when I use that word. Phenomena are observable events, behaviors, relations, or ideas that can be investigated. I'm going to say that one more time. Observable events, so things that happen, behaviors, things that plants and animals might do, relations, things happening between plants and animals, humans in the space, and ideas that can be investigated. So things that you can go outside and look either in different spaces or over time. That's what phenomena is in this space. So you may have gone on many walks around your yard or your neighborhood, or you may have not done that yet. If you haven't, I really suggest you go ahead and take some of those walks before doing this focus walk. If you have, I want you to just really think about the different things that you've wondered and noticed when you're outside. From those things that you've noticed and wondered from being outside, I want you to think of one thing that was particularly interesting for you. That is your phenomena. So if you don't have a phenomena yet, I suggest that you take some time to talk with your family, talk with some neighbors if you have um, those phone numbers of your neighbors, and think about something that has been happening in your neighborhood or yard that's really interesting to you. The phenomena that I'm choosing to study today is moss because I notice that moss grows in a bunch of different places and is different in those different places and that I just happen to see it everywhere and I'm really curious about it. So step one is to choose that phenomena that you're going to study. Again, you may have wondered about something for a really long time or you might wanna go on a few more walks to find that phenomena, but I'm ready to start with mine. So once you have your phenomena in mind, you're going to go on a walk to observe that phenomena. Two choices for when you observe that phenomena. Option one is you might choose to observe it in three different places. Option two, you might choose to, deserve, to observe it at different times of the day or of the week. I'm choosing to observe it in three types of places, but I can talk to you about how you might observe it at different times of the day. So when I'm observing it in three places, I'm gonna pay close attention to what is above that phenomena, below that phenomena, and around it. Because that's gonna, when I do that, I'm gonna come up with a bunch of really interesting questions. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take notes today. I just have a blank piece of paper. I start with the date and the time. Especially if you're observing it in different, at different times of the day, the date and time is really, really important. And I'm gonna observe the weather. And I actually will tell you, I got ready to go on this walk this morning. And when I stepped outside, it was pouring rain. So we had to wait until the rain stopped so that we could get outside and not get too wet. But it's partly cloudy. And there is some rain. And I'm checking my watch, it is 51 degrees. And there's also some wind today. So we've got a lot of cool weather going on today. Okay. My phenomena is moss. I'm gonna observe it in a few different places. So some of you may have seen me observe this in a last, in a different video, but there is moss growing right here. So again, I'm observing it in three places. So I'm just gonna divide my paper into three chunks here. And I wanna describe what this place is. So this is, I'm just gonna write cement and I'm gonna maybe take some time to draw a picture of the moss, maybe add some labels um, as to what is below it, right? So this is, a, this is growing on cement. What is above it? So there's a potted plant above it, there's a bush above it, and then maybe the open sky is above it. And what is around it? So for this, around it is more cement. So that's what I'm going to draw. I'm gonna draw a picture and I'm gonna talk about the things that are above it, below it, and around it. So that's space number one. 
and I might just draw some different things. I'm not gonna show you the drawing right now because I want you to see the three spaces so that you can go ahead and do this yourself. Okay, so that's space one. The other place that I observed moss growing in my yard is on this tree. So, it looks a little bit different in texture and it's actually like a lot, a lot longer, whereas the moss is a lot closer to the ground um, or to the surface that it's growing on. But again, I'm gonna think about, okay, what's above this moss? And of course I have a tree and above the tree is the sky. What's below our yard space and what is around it? So of course around this is bark, more trees, more moss. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that for my second space for moss. Okay, third space today. If you've ever looked really closely to the ground, you might notice that moss grows underneath grass in some spaces. So actually, here's a good touch right here. <laughs> good morning, Olive. My neighbor's dog is saying hello. So right here, you can see that moss is actually growing within the grass here. So again, what's below it. If I were to kind of just look, there's dirt below it, right? Above it, again, I have a plant here or maybe the open sky. And what's around it is there is grass growing around it. There are other small plants and weeds and leaves around it. Maybe there might be some bugs around it if I really take some time to look for it. But that is the third space that I've observed my phenomena. So let's, let's review what you're going to observe today. When you've decided your phenomena, you can decide to observe it in three places, or you can decide to observe it at different times of the day or on multiple days. You wanna talk about what's above it, below it, and around it, because that's going to generate more questions, more wonders, and things that you can continue to investigate after you've figured out what your phenomena is. Have a great time outside, and don't forget to stay safe.